But this month of Shaban is the preparation for Ramadan. Ramadan is coming. Just less than two weeks. What is our preparation? As you have heard, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to use this month as preparation for Ramadan. And he was saying, this Ramadan is a big ni'mah, is a big push for us. Allah knows he has created us to, for his ibadah. To worship him. But our level of worship is very little. It never reached to the level Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted from us. Who should secure his pleasure and jannah for us. We have so much weakness and shortcomings. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given us some of the special time in the year. Shaban was something special, but much more, much more special and precious time is Ramadan coming. And getting another Ramadan in our life is a huge ni'mah. Missing next Ramadan will be a big loss. Many of our brothers and sisters, beloved ones, Muslims praying here together, many of them have died between last Ramadan to next Ramadan. Many of them died. They didn't know that next Ramadan will be not in their faith. They lost it. But we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he extend our life to get next Ramadan. There's no guarantee for any one of us. Many people have sudden death without any previous history of the illness. Still, that's why Sahaba used to making dua to Allah from six months ahead to get next Ramadan. We need to focus in that. Getting another Ramadan in the life is a huge difference. A hadith came, narrated by Sahabi Talha radiallahu anhu, Talha ibn Ubaidillah, he said, In Rajulaini min Kabilat Bali Qadima ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Two brothers came from outside of Medina, Bali tribe, to become Muslim together in one go. And they stayed in Medina, learning Islam and practicing. Wakana Islam huma jamian, fakana ahadu huma ashadda, ishtihadan min al akhar. So one of the two brothers were more religious, more serious in worshipping Allah. Even this brother who was more hardworking in worshipping Allah, he even joined a, a, a battlefield to go, uh, go he gone for jihad. And in the end, he became martyr over there. That the second brother, after the Shahid brother, second brother, uh, remained another uh, year behind him. For the another year, his life was extended. Then he had a normal death to die. The second brother. قال طلحة رضي الله عنه فرأيت في المنام بينما أنا عند باب الجنة. طلحة said after second brother's death. I have seen a dream as if I am in front of the gate of paradise. If Anaba, whom both of them came there to enter to paradise, فَخَرَجَ خَارِجُ مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ فَأَذْنَ لِلَّذِي تُوفِيَ الْآخَرَ مِنْهُمَا So someone came out of, and one angel came out of paradise to call to paradise the second brother who died after one year with normal death. He invited him first to the paradise. ثم خرج فأذن للذي استشهد then after that he came to invite the first brother who became martyr to the paradise ثم رجع إلي then this man or angel from Jannah came to me he said to me إرجع فإنك لم يأني لك بعد you go back your time is not here yet go back فأصبح طلحة يحدث به الناس this is a very uh, a surprising dream. So Tarha, the Sahabi companion, was talking to many other com uh, companions about this. They were all surprised by this. Then this story went to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that, oh Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if the dream is true, how come? What are you surprised about? فَقَالُوا يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهَ هَذَا كَنَ عَشَدَّ رَجُلَيْنِ اِجْتِهَادًا ثُمْ مُسْتُشْهِدْ The first brother 
who was more hard working worshiper and he attended a battlefield and became a martyr how come the other brother who had a normal death going before him to the paradise that is we are shocked about this then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said alaysa qad makatha ba'dahu sana did not he remained after him for one year qalu bala of course ya rasulullah qala wa adraka ramadan fa sama wa salla kadha wa kadha min sajda fi sana he didn't get didn't he uh, reach next ramadan and he fast and pray with uh, such and such amount of sujood didn't do many uh, ibadah in next ramadan ramadan after him and many of the salawat and many ibadah qalu bala ya rasulullah yes of course prophet allah then he said fama bainahuma ab'ada ma mimma bayna as-samaa'i wal-ard then he said i saw the difference between them in greater than what is between the heavens and the earth one year finding another ramadan make this brother is achieving higher status to allah than his shaheed brother brother who is martyr so you can imagine how uh, fortunate we will be if allah uh, you know, give us tawfiq of next ramadan allahumma balighna ramadan now if we are getting ramadan with tawfiq illah we need some good preparation to get most out of this ramadan not like routine work of the previous ramadan yes ramadan come every year we believe it is farad we don't miss fasting we do some tarawih we do something routine work no very seriously we must make sure this ramadan is much different much better than the previous ramadan this preparation we need for that dua to allah is important still we need to make dua allahumma balighna ramadan and we ask tawfiq allahumma a'inna fi ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatika we make allah we do so much better ibadah in this ramadan this asking allah tawfiq to make it easy for us if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't help doesn't give us tawfiq we'll be lazy we'll be missing the barakah so we need to be very keen on asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tawfiq we need to give up many of the sins we still do sins of tongue sins of eyes are very easy very frequently happening to us we need to realize asking allah forgiveness all other uh, uh, sins of our life and try to be more careful we need to learn the masail fiqh and adab the good practice of the uh, of the fasting that's why we need to attend many of the cycles of the knowledge inshallah in this masjid will be arranging fiqh siyam wa adabuhu how to properly fast our making our fast is done according to sharia and what is the beautiful adab and guidance and how to make our fasting is 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 fully accepted by allah and uh, not became faulty uh, and losing many opportunity all this will be taking class here in english in bangla in somalian language even in for yes uh, young for sisters all kind of uh, talks will be coming inshallah before ramadan and we need to also learn in ramadan many ibadah we do we do ibadah of zakat even there will be also zakat training day seminar how to pray, calculate your zakat we will be also arranging inshallah in the first week of ramadan probably how to do properly umrah umrah its training session will take place as well so please uh, try to attend all those uh, inshallah events and uh, and uh, and knowledge sessions inshallah and most importantly we should have a firm belief firm uh, 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 plan uh, uh, that to that i would like to achieve in ramadan highest inshallah and to have a proper plan for that and a strong will there is a will there is a way as people say that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said also in the quran fa idha azama al amru fa law sadaqullah la kana khairan lahum when the matter was determined if they had been determined if they had been true uh, to allah it would have been better for them we need to be truly truly asking allah tawfiq very sincerely begging to allah tawfiq and also considering it's not too much one month too much some people think i don't know how to manage it if it is scared no take it 
that ayyam madudat as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said fasting for a limited number of days only so it will go quickly it has also another message don't say well i'll be serious in the end of the month fast uh, in the beginning that don't need to be that serious that will be also you will miss the days every day is important so from now on we make our habit starting some kind of qiyamul lail tahajjud and tilawatul quran we are engaged in we need to increase that giving more sadaqa uh, and doing a favor to the poor people sending them from not only in ramadan before ramadan so the money is with them and they will be inshallah buying their sahur and iftar with our money and we we'll, we'll try to uh, cut as much as possible social uh, kind of you know all uh, social media and to focus in quran be uh, be awa social media is taking our time nowadays many groups you are in looking all this whole time will uh, will pass we need to be careful may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq barak allahu li wa lakum fil quran al azim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bima fihi min al ayat wa dhikr al hakim wa aqul qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lis sa'ir al muslimin min kulli dhanb fastaghfiruhu wa atubu ilayhi innahu huwal ghafur rahim